go. That's the vintage tag. Let's check it out. What's up, Jordan here. Today we're talking about vintage again. We're gonna be going through a veil. We're gonna be checking out some cool tees. We're gonna be talking about what is vintage, what isn't, what makes a piece vintage, what's considered vintage. Specifically talking about t-shirts today. Let's just get into it. Let's go check out some tees. I'm gonna get some uh, veil scissors. This is a veil of all white t-shirts printed round neck. Really excited. This supplier always has really great products. This is one of my favorite bales to get because there's always something good. So let's take a look. We're mm. seeing a little yes. print here. Not crazy exciting, still kind of cool. Maybe this will be vintage one day, but not quite yet. Oh, here we go. That's the vintage tag. Let's check it out. This one's pretty sweet. A little 90s shirt, really cool print on there. Kind of cool, older. Nice. Mardi Gras, mm. very sweet. Airbrush. Mm. Awesome. Walkathon 99. about to head back we're gonna talk about what makes these vintage got some pretty cool pieces today no real bangers but you know what that's the reality not every bale is gonna have a nirvana in utero tea although we do have one so a lot of times on vintage pieces you're gonna see either this woven style tag where if you actually pop it open you'll see the loose threads on the back there this is a more expensive tag usually um, most companies have switched over to just screen printing directly onto the garment because it saves money, less materials. But vintage tees typically will have that style of embroidered tag or they're gonna have this type of uh, silk screen tag. So again, still a physical tag. It's gonna be a little bit shiny, a little bit slick when you feel it. Sometimes they're looped over like this, not always though. This 80s Adidas one is probably a good one. I'm pretty sure, yeah. It's also got an embroidered tag. And when you feel it, like you can tell it's a little bit more quality, especially on older garments made in the USA. I feel like, you know, there was less cost cutting and so they, people were okay with paying up for trims and that sort of thing. So that's why you typically will see that. But nowadays, you know, everything is screen printed directly onto the garment. Just like this, really cool shirt, Lord 2014. Definitely gonna hold on to that. Screen printed directly onto the garment. So still all the same information, but anytime you see this with like very, 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 very few, very few exceptions, it's gotta be modern. So this is actually a really cool find. It's a 70s Boz Skaggs satin jacket i guess very cool old felco tag a lot of times these like 70s satin jackets you'll see that tag i've seen similar ones from like led zeppelin from the who Pink floyd got that nice vintage satin feel beautiful piping on the arms and this wonderful blue and yellow but also like everything else from the 70s it's very small i'm a big boy can't wear this the best thing that you can do if you want to learn how to, to find vintage is just get out there and look for it so one of the easiest things that you can do is just go to a t-shirt rack and just run your hand down the line feel for that old thick cotton it's gonna have a little bit of a different feel and you'll know it drifters know what i'm talking about this is 100 percent cotton and then the older you get the thinner it's gonna be so if you're ever like running along a rack and you feel something that's really thin chances are it might be vintage it's definitely worth checking out it's definitely something that you kind of just pick up on just through experience. It really helps when you've got a lot of tees to look through to really feel with, feel and see with your hands. So, thanks for watching. Um, it's a really fun video to make. I really love talking about vintage. I love talking about clothes in general. Like, comment, subscribe. Talk down below. What's your favorite thing you found at the thrift? What's a good tip you might have for finding vintage? Follow us on all our socials. We've got Instagram, we've got Twitter, we've got TikTok. It's just good for you on all platforms.